Excited to get in the fire truck? You want to get in with Daddy? You want to drive? Yeah? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Apparently you're driving. Okay. Yeah. Hi, my name is Steven, and welcome to another episode of the Bad Ideas Garage. Here with us today, we have a 1973 Ward fire truck. Now, if you've seen our previous video where I went very briefly through this fire truck, you might know a little bit about the story, but we're going to talk about that a little bit more today. We're also going to get it on the road for probably the first time in about 10 years. Uh, it's driven maybe a mile from one barn to the other. We, we start it up every once in a while just to make sure the fluids are going. And then last fall, we actually got it in running condition because we were going to do a function at our church with it, but it never actually left. So today is going to be the first time that this has been on the road for more than a mile in about 10 years. Uh, I'm hopeful. I'm a little nervous at the same time because this is obviously really big. And this also belonged to my friend, Mike. And so this video is also a memorial to him. Uh, he recently passed away. Part of my job was to take care of this fire truck. Every month I'd come out here, start it up, let it run, make sure everything's good. Uh, but he recently passed away a couple of weeks ago. And so he asked as one of his final wishes to have both this and his Squad 51 replica at his memorial next week. So my job is to get this over to the church and also make sure that it's cleaned up because it's been sitting in this barn for quite some time. Make sure that we are doing a good job at uh, really reflecting his legacy. He put a lot of care and effort into building these. These are replicas of uh, the fire engine from the show Emergency and also the Squad 51 from the show Emergency as well. He did a great job putting those together. Uh, they just haven't been driven a lot in the last several years. And so I really want to get it into good shape for Mike. So Mike, this video is for you. I appreciate your friendship over the last several years. Hope you enjoy our video. Sounds good. Fired right up. We're uh, we're gonna get going on this. There we go. I'm driving a fire truck. I feel like I'm on the top of the freaking world. All right, it's early. I have no idea how fast I'm going because the uh, speedometer doesn't work. So what I thought was going to be problematic was the brakes. That's not the problem. This uh hydraulic seat. It is very, 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 very bouncy. Uh, uh, oh my gosh. Okay. Alright, here we go. Oh my gosh. Big turn, big turn, big turn, big turn. Oh. <laughs> okay, a little, little, little terror, a lot of terrifying. Oh my gosh, this is so bouncy! <laughs> Alright, top gear! Oh, this seat is awful! <laughs> this seat is so, so bouncy!
turbo is amazing. Oh my gosh. Ow. <laughs> Hello, Albany PD. I was always concerned about if I drove past actual emergency personnel while driving in my retired emergency person, uh, vehicle, if that would get any attention. And so far, Albany PD said, no, nope, we're good, I guess. It's starting to get real warm in here. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh. My abs are sore from trying to hold myself in the seat because it's only got a lap belt. And every, it's not harsh, it's just bouncy. And my hair touches the top of this cab. We made it, and according to all the vitals, I mean, we're at 165 degrees, 70 pounds of pressure, everything just is great. We had about 110 pounds of uh, brake pressure, so we made it. Yeah, so uh, my idiot me, I didn't realize that, oh, the seat has air in it, so uh, down here. Is it less bouncy now? Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's less bouncy now. And my head isn't touching the top, so thanks, Jamie. Like now. Yeah, thanks, Jamie. It's good to know now that I'm, you know, here. All right, so now that we made it back, um, we're going to give you just a little bit of tour. Um, it's not very clean quite yet, but that's actually part of my goal is to clean this up. Uh, let's see if I can at least act like I know what I'm doing. For those who haven't seen the video of how to start up the ward, just really quickly, this is the power control switch, so I changed this to both batteries. Then I am going to hit this ignition. So all sorts of things are going on here. I'm going to make sure that it is in park. So I want to make sure that the air control is on and it's in neutral, which it is. So push for parking. And then I'm going to hit these starter buttons and hopefully it fires up. All right, so apparently Noah's going to be driving the fire truck. Here we go. All right, so we do have lots of battery stuff in here just because um, there are two batteries and we had them on a tender um, just to um, make sure that, you know, it would start. All right, so um, there's all the radio stuff. Mike was really um, insistent on having, you know, period correct stuff as much as possible so that you have all of your radios. This is a Cummins diesel powered um, vehicle. I'll show you that in just a second, uh, which is great. So uh, in terms of the, uh, all the sirens and stuff, but all of the sirens are all here. Um, there's a heater that will just, um, uh, the heater core actually is bypassed at the moment, so it wouldn't really do too much in here. This does have a, a jake brake on it. I didn't dare try it, but then you have your regular gauges. So, um, yeah, these are all the gauges. The um, speedometer doesn't work, but everything else looked like it was doing just fine. Um, this is how you start it. Um, you know, you have uh, um, your, I think that this is a brake bias switch, actually. Hazards massive steering wheel. This is the uh, manual parking brake And then this because this has air brakes So of course you push that when you're parking you release it when you get ready to go I like that. There's a cigarette lighter in here. Um, this is how you can control like your pump uh, your PTO, etc um, All that fun stuff. Uh, it looks like that was uh, pulling out like that. Okay the way that this shifts is that uh, one two is obviously one, uh, one two gear uh, three and four is obviously three, four, um, but you can leave it in this, which, uh, it'll do three, four and five. This will take off in third gear. No problem. Uh, and then this is the highway gear target to neutral. And of course there is reverse. So the rest of the stuff, um, you know, it's just period correct stuff. And, uh, let's take a look at the outside. Okay. So there is, um, a uh, battery in here. Uh, these things are absolutely massive. I'll show you that on the other side. Um, over here, these are all the pump controls. Again, I don't even want to act like I know what I'm doing with any of this. Um, but, you know, the mic, mic took really good care of this. I wouldn't doubt that it was working at some point. Let's see what we... Okay, so, uh, okay, so we got some tools in here. Oh, wow. Look at this. Yeah, you got an oil leak. There's an oil leak? Yeah, it's, it's not 
It's not good either. Okay. Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> well, I made it, so that's what's important. Okay. So that here, this would have been really, really helpful to be able to, you know, wipe my windshield clean. Oh, that was a lot heavier than I thought. Okay. Get some tools. All sorts of. Okay. There's some extra radiator fluid. Good to know now. <laughs> Yeah, more, more tools. Okay, I like that little carpet that's down there. Oh, that's heavy. Wow. <sighs> what else? Okay, so again, more tools, tarps. What else? Right, okay, so he has lots and lots and lots of hose up here. Um, oh, that'd be fun for a party up there. <laughs> so Jamie's telling me that there is an oil leak that's not insignificant. Okay. Down where? Down there. Oh, yeah, okay, so that's a, that's not insignificant. Okay, let me see where it might be coming from. It was wet, it was right there, but I can't really see anything else. And it's also very hot right now. I assure you that I checked the oil and it was good then, but it's really, really hot right now. It's actually 100 degrees here today in Oregon, which is weird. So I'm gonna check the oil at another time, but you know, I assure you that I didn't drive it on low oil because that would be bad, and Mike would not be happy. So these batteries, if I can get this open, are just absolutely gigantic. So I'm actually going to uh, depower them. There you go, or just disconnect that. All right, what else do we have in here? Okay, we got some cones. Uh, actually, here's some oil. For... Okay, there was oil. Okay. Let me see here. There we go. Oh, okay. Wow. Okay, so there's some hose stuff. Again, I don't really want to act like I know what I'm talking about. Okay, Jamie says it's got plenty of oil. Wow. Okay, well, that's quite a saw. And that is our video about this 1972 Ward LaFrance fire truck that is the Engine 51 replica from the show Emergency. We hope that you've enjoyed both this video and also the video that I will link in the description below of our Squad 51 replica and also the startup procedure of this engine in that video. It's really hard to describe what it's like to feel the joy and the happiness of being able to drive a fire truck for the first time. This is the first fire truck I ever drove. It's the only fire truck I've ever driven. And also the sadness at the same time because Mike passed away and he's the guy that put these together and he put lots of effort and lots of heart into this. He was so passionate about fire apparatus. And today is his memorial, so just there's a lot of emotions that are going on there. But the one thing that I'm committing to is to continue to take care of these until they get up to the Oregon Fire Heritage Museum up in Brooks, Oregon. There's a wonderful place. It's called the Antique Powerland. Um, it's a museum park. There's like 16 different museums and the Oregon Fire Heritage Museum they've been building for the last couple of years. Mike wanted these to end up there. So I'm going to be taking care of them until they get up there. I'll hopefully be making a video once they get up there. And then uh, let's just plan, if you want to see these, the Great Steam Up, which is the last weekend in July and the first weekend in August every single year. I think it's going to be number uh, like 55 years or something like that. They've been doing this celebration. So if you want to see these, how about let's go see you there last weekend in July of 2023. Hopefully these are going to be there by then. And in the meantime, make sure and like and subscribe our videos. We hope that you've enjoyed being along on this journey. Excited to get in the fire truck? You wanna drive? Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Apparently you're driving. Okay. There you go. Any fire truck hat? Yeah. There we go. Okay, we're gonna very slowly drive over there. way to warm up an old fire apparatus is by letting your child. That was all him. Your firefighter? Yeah? All right, Albany Fire Department, you better get his uh, application ready for when he applies in 2038. <laughs> ready? You want to keep moving? You want to start moving? Go. Hey, it's the fi fire truck. Yeah, you're driving a fire truck. <laughs>